how did this? I mean, I guess I can give this one a shot. It looks kind of mid, but eh, why not? We'll put it on the list. Become this! Oh my god, I love it. What's up, Dandelions? I am Lulu Soul. I have been watching anime and making art for over two decades now, and I like to share my thoughts on anime and my art with all of you guys. As I reached exactly 1.5 episodes into my newest obsession, I knew, I just knew, this anime will not only be the anime of the season, but the anime of my heart. And it isn't the one I was expecting at all. In fact, it almost didn't even make my list. And now as only two episodes were out currently, a big part of me wanted to stop right there and create a YouTube video crowing about how amazing and wonderful this new anime is. And then I remembered what happened the last two times I started making a video on an anime without following my three episode rule. So alas, I decided to wait. What was another week to fully represent my entire opinion of an anime based off of the first three episodes anyway? That being said, I did decide to start writing this script at that time, you know, to compare my feelings after the full three episodes, naturally, so... What is this amazing new anime? Well, I am glad you asked. Skip to Loafer! Episode one was charming, not at all graceful, but highly entertaining, quickly adding it to the list of, I think I'll enjoy this anime quite a bit. Episode two has convinced me that this is going to be my new favorite comfort anime, and it may even fight for the top spot alongside Fruits Basket and Skip Beat. That's a big challenge, but I'm willing to state it even this early in. And now that I have finally watched episode three and further, I can attest that for once, I could very well have made my full video after watching only those 1.5 episodes, because this anime absolutely passes my vibe check. But the question I want to look into is, what is it about this anime that makes it so charming, so endearing? It's not the synopsis. I mean, it's so incredibly simple that I almost passed right on over it when deciding what to watch this season. If you're curious, by the way, the TLDR of that synopsis is basically small town girl moves to Tokyo for her first year of high school, she makes friends there. I've read this synopsis quite often, quite frequently, and many, many times. Yes, that was supposed to be redundant. Okay then, is it the animation? I mean, the animation is definitely pretty, but so is about 90% of other anime out there these days. Okay, then let's take a look at the art itself, which like the synopsis, it's pretty, it's simple, and it's kind of basic. Something does feel slightly off-center with it, mainly that the main character isn't a starry-eyed beauty so much as a perfectly regular-looking girl. Some of the supporting cast is closer to how most slice-of-life anime is presented, but honestly, none of the characters really stand out looks-wise, even, even if I am personally enchanted by the art style. So, what then? The reason this anime, and I'm assuming the manga that came before it is so popular, is, I think, at least for me, it's how incredibly relatable the characters in this show are. I've never experienced such a strong connection with the main character before I met the wonderfully awkward but earnest being that is Mitsumi. She interacted with those around her in a similar manner to how I did as a teenager. Eager for friends, not sure how to make them, clueless with making social connections of any kind, but also craving that person-to-person -person relationship of good friends. I wasn't as intelligent or career-driven as she is, but outside of that, our two personalities might as well have come from like the same brainstem. The other characters are just as relatable in their own ways, from being bored by their social surroundings or being misunderstood to feeling jealousy over a social status they feel they deserve over someone else. Each character has a distinct personality, and I'm willing to bet that every viewer out there who watches this show will find one that fits how they feel inside without 
resorting to deep pits of depression. You know, the main heart tug that usually captures the attention of our audience these days. Or maybe the popularity comes with how perfectly in the middle of slice of life versus drama that this show seems to thrive. Conflict of some kind happens in every episode, but the issues, they don't stem from any one specific villain for us to all hate. Our main cast goes up against getting lost on the way to school, the anxiety of public speaking, the confusion of not understanding a social situation. It comes from feelings of inadequateness or frustrations at feeling ignored. At this point in viewing, I can honestly say I don't dislike a single character I've met so far, though most have shown weaknesses and flaws within their hearts. And this is all done in an almost casual manner. I feel like Skip to Loafer is more about how the characters react in stressful situations and find a way through the emotions they present rather than the big bad waiting to bring our heroes down. Oh yeah, it's also funny. And the music is freaking on point. So I guess if I'm being honest, I think this show will thrive because it is perfectly adequate in pretty much every era area a show needs to be for engagement. The art's good, the animation is good, characters are relatable and wonderful, music is good, pacing is just right, neither too fast nor too slow. You guys, this anime, it's like the perfect porridge. And naturally, it won't be for everyone, since we all look at different outlets for our escapism and entertainment. Uh, skip to Loofer, yeah, there's no magic spells in it, no isekai elements, you won't find large epic fight scenes, I don't think. No tournament arcs, no over-the-top power showcased here, uh, no animal people, no talking animals, I don't think. So if you are searching for any of those things in an anime, well, you won't find them here. But if you're looking for a wholesome, relatable, wonderfully paced slice of life show to brighten your day, this one just might hit the mark. I personally give Skip to Loafer 8 loafers out of 10 for me. And perhaps seven loafers out of ten for the rest of the universe, since not everyone is likely to love this show as much as I do. What about you, though? Dandelions, have you seen this show yet? Better yet, have you read the manga attached to it? What are your thoughts? Am I delusional about how good the show is? Or are you curious enough to give it a look-see? Let me know in the comments below, because I adore reading each and every one. I really do. It like brightens my day and stuff. So that being said, I don't really have much else to talk about right now. So see you next time, dandelions. This has been a calm and peaceful Lulu soul. Signing off. Okay, thanks. Bye.